Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing Lords of the Sith by Paul S. Kemp. This is a canon uh, Star Wars novel, and this uh, book takes place between A New Hope and um, Rogue One. Um, the exact time, as far as I'm aware anyway, isn't specified whether or not it is before Rebels or after Rebels, but I do know for sure that it is sometime between um, number three and number four. Um, so this book is primarily, I would say, a, a Darth Vader book, uh, but it, the title Lords of the Sith tells you that it is about Darth Vader and Palpatine, or the Emperor, or uh, Darth Sidious, whatever, whatever you prefer to call him. Um, and it's also a story about a group of insurgents on the planet, planet Ryloth. Um, which is in the Outer Rim, I believe. And uh, they're actually not part of the Rebels. They are Rebels, uh, lowercase r, but they're not Rebels, capital R, you know, with Bill Organa and everything. Um, <clears throat> they're, they're, they call themselves like the Ryloth Resistance Movement or something like that. Um, no, lowercase r, not uppercase r from the new, from against the First Order. Sorry, I'm confusing you guys. Uh, no, not you guys are all Star Wars people. But anyway, so they, they, uh, they're they fighting the Empire on Ryloth. Uh, just very mildly guerrilla warfare type stuff. But then they get intelligence that the Emperor and Darth Vader are visiting Ryloth to... Um, uh, there's a couple different reasons, but it's sort of to draw out the Resistance because they know they're a big target. And the uh, Resistance knows it's probably a trap, but they say, well, what the heck, it's the Emperor and this Darth Vader, mysterious Darth Vader character. So we might as well go for it and try to take him out. And uh, the Resistance movement attacks a Imperial Star Destroyer, an Imperial base, and uh, Darth Sidious and Darth Vader. And um, this book is just, it is action-packed. Uh, I, as much as I love this book, I am really furious at uh, Lucasfilms, Paul Kemp, whoever decided to make this a novel and not a live action movie. You know, their name is Mud, because if this was a live action movie, it would have been one of the coolest live action movies, one of the coolest Star Wars movies, period. The, f the very first scene, uh, er, yeah, the very first scene in this novel, if it was live action, tops uh, Rogue One, Vader Hall, excuse me, Vader Hallway scene by far. Uh, it's just great. It's just a great. There's some great action sequences in this, uh, and also not just action. The dialogue is really awesome. The character, um, the character development. Uh, I want you know, this this author, this book does a great job of having you dislike a character, and then as it goes on. You really start to like him. I kind of uh, compare it to, to Jamie Lannister of this book. There's an Imperial person in there. And towards the end, you're like, okay, I'm supporting them. But uh, this book will make you drool over Darth Vader, because Darth Vader is epic. It will make you hate Darth Sidious, because the dude is dick. Like, he does some evil stuff in this. Pure evil. And, um... It will make you uh, impressed, or not? Not you don't you won't respect the Empire, the Galactic Empire, but this book impresses you with about the Galactic Empire because yeah, in Rogue One and A New Hope, it's like dang it, like dang it, these Empire guys are strong, but this book it just really shows you the the tight iron you know grip and hammer that the Empire has uh, over the people whom they uh, govern in the, in the galaxy. And uh, there's some really... Uh, another thing that, besides all the cool action sequences, beside the great character stuff, the, um, the thing this book does really amazing, if you're a big Star Wars fan, is it really gives you insight, canon insight, into the uh, relationship between Darth Sidious, the Emperor, and Darth Vader, um, which is much more than anything you get uh, at least to my limited knowledge, uh, and anything else, although I, I'm still early in my 
readings of the new canon books. Um, but it's really cool seeing that relationship. <clears throat> and uh, I think this Paul Kent he does a good job. The, it's just an over round, really great book. He does a great job with the dialogue and stuff, great job with the action. But one thing he does really well, and this ties into the action, is he does a really great job of moments where it's just like, like jaw-dropping moments. Not, not like a page where it's like, oh, wow, that was cool, jaw drop. I'm talking like you read a one sentence and it just and it just changes it. You, you read the sentence and you're like, like what? Um, there's something, you know, Darth Sidious says something or Vader will say something to the rebels or to each other. And it's just like, whoa, you know? Um, I remember one time I was reading it and I was just like, I, I closed it and I was just like, wow. That's evil. Um, so yeah, I have nothing to praise for this book, really. Um, if I had to complain, I would say there's a lot of... In the Resistance, the, the Ryloth, Ryloth Resistance, there's a, a lot of there's a lot of characters with a lot of funky names, and at times it's kind of hard to keep track of them, but it's not too hard. It's, uh, you know, it's great. It's not great, but it's doable, I mean. Um, so if you're a Star Wars fan, highly recommend it. If you want to know more about um, Darth Vader and Darth Sidious's relationship, highly recommend it. If you are sort of an Empire guy and you really like the Empire, I'm more of a Red Alliance guy, but I, I kind of like the Empire a little bit. But anyway, if you're an Empire fan, you'll love it. And if you are a Darth Vader fan, and I am a major Darth Vader, Vader fan, this is required reading. Required reading. Put it on your list. Uh, Darth Vader is just a scary, demon, like, unstoppable force in this book. Um, although he is in Palpatine's shadow. Oh, also, another great thing uh, I want to mention in this book is the rule of two is talked about um, very frequently in this book. Uh, I'm not going to explain what that is. If you don't know, they explain it in the book, or you can look elsewhere. But um, that ties into the relationship between Darth Vader and, uh, and the Emperor. And it has some, uh, some real tense moments. So anyways, Lords of the Sith. You know, I, was, I turned this video on to do this review, and I was like, 4 out of 5. Yeah. And it's been a couple weeks since I read this. But when I initially read it, and as I was talking this review, I really want to go 5 out of 5 on it. Because this is a really good book. And I think I'm going to. It's a 5 out of 5. It's Lord of the, Lords of the Sith by Paul S. Kemp. Five out of five. Excellent Star Wars novel. Uh, go read it. Thanks for watching.